Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs. And just like we did, um, like two or three weeks back, we have some more packs of 95 tops. This time, we are checking out Series 2. Uh, I had a wax box that I picked up from the LCS, and again, much like the first time I, uh, or well, actually, the first time we did, when we did Series 1, the uh, cards were all super stuck together, so I whittled it down to 12 packs for video purposes. Um, this box was in much, much better shape. The cards come apart pretty well, but uh, since I had already kind of, dip, uh, kind of dipped into it, I decided that I would whittle this one down as well. Here's our odds for inserts League Leaders like we saw in Series 1. And you can also find these finest cards, which um, I think they're actually called something else on Trading Card Database. But here is a look at our packs. Again, we have 12 of these, 13 cards per pack in here. I feel like I think Series 1 was 15 cards per pack. And again, we're going to be looking for the Spectralite cards as well. There's one per pack, uh, aka Cyber Stats. We've got Moises Alou and Roberto Alomar pictured on the front and just like series one the packs are a bit of a pain painous in the anus as Borat would say to open but the cards are not really stuck together at all so um, here's our first pack we are looking for Griffey and pretty much any other Hall of Famers there's nothing too good for rookies in here on deck that's a subset has a different design than the regular base set here is our first cyber stats card we have dave varus there's a name that i don't remember at all as you can see these are stuck together a little bit but um compared to series one much much better uh, much easier to pull them apart. Jay Payton, um, I th think that might actually be his uh, rookie card. But again, not a crazy name. First pack here of today's video. And we've got an insert already. There's Home Run Leaders Cecil Fielder. Not too shabby there. We'll set him off to the side. Next we have Rob Nen. Again, that foil on the bottom kind of makes it a little bit... Difficult to see the names. There's Carlos Bayerga. Nice candid shot. That's his ravishing Rick Rude pose, I guess. A couple of names on here I recognize. David Bell and Aaron Boone. 95 prospects. Again, subset there. And I think I'm going to flip these around. There we go. Make that a little easier. J.R. Phillips. Another guy that didn't, uh, didn't last too long. Omar Vizquel borderline Hall of Famer, Chuck Finley, Lenny Harris, I almost said Barry Larkin for some reason there, and Joe Bover, the final one there in pack number one, moving right along to pack number two. Off camera, I was able to pull the Griffey base out of here, as well as a Griffey home run leader insert, which was pretty dope. Would have um, liked to have shared that here with you guys, so I probably should have just opened the full box here on the channel. That's Butch Henry Cyberstats. Pretty intimidating picture of Sandy Alomar Jr. there. And now that these are all going to go the opposite direction, we'll flip around. Reggie Jefferson, Darren Oliver. I'm trying to make it so I can see the names easier here. Not super easy, though, because then the above light glares off the card. Pedro Estacio, Mark Wollers, Jim Bollinger. I think there are less Hall of Famers here in Series 2 as well as there was in uh, Series 1. John Cruck, Jose Lind. Back-to-back -back packs, we've got inserts. There's the Crime Dog, Fred McGriff. That one's centered up a lot better than... The Cecil Fielder was, and then Jeff King is the final one there. Two for two on inserts, as I toss this pack across the screen. Two for two on the inserts, inserts, <laughs> inserts so far. 
Come on now. There we go. Probably would have been brutal trying to just watch me open these packs doing a full box because they're such a pain in the anus. Andy Pettit on deck. Nice one there. Not too bad. That's not his rookie, of course. Bruce Ruffin cyber stats. David Justice. Decent name. Somebody stuck to the back of him a little bit. There is Rick Wilkins. As we turn it around, Greg Jeffries. I'm still not a fan of these uh, sideways cards. I don't know. I don't enjoy that I have to flip them like this every time to see the or to get a good look at the full picture. Greg Gagne there. There is Brady Anderson who randomly hit 50 homers in one season. Gee, I wonder how that happened. Rich Monteleone, Danny Jackson. Almost felt like someone was stuck to him there. And then the last one is Robin, don't call me Jesse Ventura. Pack number four here. That was the cleanest rip we've had thus far. Andres Baruman and Bryce Flory. Bryce Flory sounds vaguely familiar. Spike Owen cyber stats. And then Nigel Wilson. At one point, um, the, uh, Local baseball team here is the double affiliate of the Red Sox. It used to be for the Marlins, and at one point, the uh, hot name with all the buzz around these parts was uh, Pookie Wilson. I'm not ever sure what happened to that guy. Seeing Nigel Wilson made me think of that. Will Clark there. Jason Isringhausen on deck. Next, we have Jose Valentin. And another Griffey. So we got two in this one box. That's pretty dope right there. And again, pretty decent centering there. Looks like it know, might be off top to bottom a little bit. But pretty solid Griffey there. We'll leave that one featured on the table here. Dan Carlson, Keith Williams, and then we have three on decks in here. Ron Cedeno, or excuse me, Roger Cedeno, and... Ron Cooper as we approach the halfway point in this video. Let's see if we can't find any other good League Leaders cards. And I never did pull one of the finest uh, out of this box. So, oh, a horrible rip there. Perhaps we uh, will still find one. The odds, as we saw in the back of the pack, was one in 36 packs, so... Theoretically, there should be one in here. Cyberstats, John Lieber, I think. I don't I don't know that that's actually... I feel like... I always thought his first name was pronounced or was spelt just J-O-N. I don't know if that's an error or not. Yorkis Perez. And, boy, there's a insane-looking shot of Ricky Gutierrez. Super close up. Eric Young, senior, of course. Mark Guthrie for the Twinkies. Rick Wilkins, second time coming across him so far. Dave Hollins, Chris Hoyles. And why they got to do that to us, Tops? Tops getting their upper deck on. Ron Gant is Cincinnati Reds days. Jimmy Key. Looks like. I don't know if that's like, I guess that's some paper loss there, possibly on Jimmy Key. There's Nigel Wilson again, back-to-back -back packs. And then Terry Matthews, looking pretty stoked to show off, I guess, what would be his curveball. As we are now officially at the halfway mark here. I should have just used scissors on these, I suppose. Here's a name everybody remembers, Johnny Damon, 95 Prospects, Gil Heredia, so the Cyber Stats is always the second card in the pack, I can't remember if that was the same way with um, Series 1, Rockies back to back there, there's Witty Castilla, Rico Bronia, Steve Carse, 
I would be willing to bet we will run into Bill Swift again <laughs> in this video to Luis Alcea. He's been popping up quite a bit lately, Jason Bure. Esteban Loiza would be the most remembered name of those two. Henry Rodriguez, Tony Eusebio, and then Cal Eldred for those Brewers jerseys that almost look, well, they look pretty similar to the Mariners mid 90s jerseys. Next pack here. I haven't seen any uh, inserts since our first two packs, so um, we still got a few more shots at it here. Hopefully everyone is uh, sticking with us. If you are, please hit that thumbs up button down below. Appreciate uh, any kind of support we can get. And if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit that button as well. It's just a click away. There's another insert, but first Derek Bell, and then next we have NL Stolen Base Leaders, Marquise Grissom. So, um, doesn't look like we, or Alan Trammell, there's our next Hall of Famer, or actually that's really our first one outside of Griffey. Haven't done too well on the inserts though, so let's see if maybe we'll get lucky enough and actually pull a decent name, Larry Walker. Two Hall of Famers in this pack. There's a pretty interesting photo of Larry Walker there. Mike Lieberthal and then John Hudek makes an appearance with five packs left to go. I still haven't had another nice rip since uh, that one a few packs ago. Hall of Famer on the top here. So I guess all I had to do was complain about the lack of Hall of Famers. There's Mike Piazza. Sid Fernandez, Cyberstats, Devon White, Clean Shaven Devon White. And which way are we going? Robin Ventura is next. Rico Bronia again, some more doubles. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Gary Sheffield is a borderline hall. Rick Wilkins again. It's like three or four of him. Eric Karos. This is Doug. Web, yeah, look at those unusual colors for the Brewers. Hideous uniforms. Didn't work for them, in my opinion. Carlos Delgado, pretty early in his career right there. Mike Lansing. Here's Bernie Williams. First time I think I've ever seen that card. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure who he's given daps to there. Yankees great Bernie Williams. And then Rick Heiserman, draft pick, is the next one. Nomar Garcia Parra has a draft pick card in this set that is of course not his rookie his rookie is a 92 tops traded team usa card troy percival on deck there name people definitely remember eric young senior cyber stats albi lopez a guy lost in the annals of my memory that's annals not annals brett butler <laughs> Bobby Witt Sr. Scott Leas, Jim Lieberts there. Brian McRae, Derek Bell again. Doing like a mini push up on second base. Let's see who's on here. Ray Ordonia is be the name I remember there. Yorkies once again, and then Mike Magnante. As we are down to the final three to go here. I haven't really found much of anything in these packs, but um, a lot of times that can be the case with any of these older sets that um, don't really contain any decent rookies at all. Just chasing, chasing the Hoffers. Phil Schneider, Rod Pedraza, uh, and Bernard Gilkey, cyber stats. I'm sure some people will appreciate that for random reasons. Denny Nagel, Ricky Gutierrez again. What a creepy... You know, I guess not creepy, at least he's happy, but... Too up close and personal for my liking. Bruce Ruffin, there's Bernie Williams again. Makes another appearance 
towards the end of our video. Tom Candy, Audi. Gutierrez, two in the same pack. That's weird. Javi Lopez, Gold Cup. And Dizzy Relaford is the name I recognize there. Seattle Mariners. Next is Danny Bautiste. Russ Davis. And I told you we would see him. There's my boy. Good old Bill Swift from South Portland, Emmy. He's been haunting me on the channel in recent weeks. Seems like every baseball opening we've had outside of, uh, I guess, the 2021 stuff, Bill Swift has appeared. There is Kevin Stalker, Cyber Stats. Rob Nen once again. We had a Pedro on the back there. Philly, uh, Philly. Philly Castina. Vinny Castilla. Eric Young makes another appearance. There's the base Bernard Gilkey. Pete Shorick. Kevin Brown. And some Rangers uniforms I don't ever remember seeing before. On deck, Tony Graffanino. The known name there. Known name, not no name. Bo Jackson. Nice one. Billy Ashley was a huge name prospect back around this time who didn't pan out. And then Pedro Martinez. So some good players have appeared in our final packs as we reach the final pack here. We found ourselves another grippy base. Didn't really see any good inserts, which is a bit unfortunate, but uh, always cool to find ourselves another Griffey. Greg Vaughn there. Here is Doug Jones, Cyber Stats. I feel like I never pull any good player Cyber Stats cards. It's always common players. Jeff Cirillo. Here's our last cards. Dave Fleming. Couple Mariners back to back. Reggie Jefferson. There's the Doug Jones base. Chuck Finley for the second or third time. Brian Anderson, Gold Cup. Do we got here Bill Risley or Bill Rust uh, Risley possibly? That is Phil Leftwich and Manny Ramirez Gold Cup. Nice one, Ron Gant. And then the last one we saw in the back was Mark Guthrie. So definitely my favorite card, Ken Griffey Jr. Of course, it's uh, just his base, but. When you're a Griffey collector like myself, you'll take any Griffey cards because, uh, quite frankly, I think they're all pretty cool. So that's it for Top Series 2, a dozen packs we had, and we will be sticking in the 90s with some more tops in our next opening as we go through a complete set of 93 tops in hopes that the Derek Jeter rookie card is still in there. It's from the LCS, so I would imagine it is, and the set could possibly be hand collated as well, which we found out in our 2014 Tops football video. Uh, but I didn't realize it was hand collated until like the very end. So uh, that's it for this edition of Headlocks and Hot Packs. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time.